Hey, Void here! What's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to build a basic hovercraft in Robocraft. Well, not very basic, I'm just gonna do my design. It's pretty big, so let's get on to it. Uh, basically, first of all, this is gonna be tier 1, by the way. First of all, you're gonna need hover blades. I believe you start with 4, so buy 2, but you're gonna need 6. But not necessarily just depending on your style of hovercraft, I'm usually stick with armored ones. And you want about four of these. So I guess that's pretty expensive early on. But if you play a few rounds with the pre pre-made ones, it wouldn't shouldn't be too bad. Let me just order these. And these. And... I'm gonna buy these. Okay. That should be enough. Okay, now you wanna start like this. One, two, three, three, four. I wanna make it about... I wanna make it about that high. You want to put the pilot seat right here, right here, and you also need to need to, uh, to buy some helium tanks. They're second tier, well, just after the first tier uh, level two, so they shouldn't be that hard to unlock. But you don't necessarily need them; it just makes it more stable. Okay. Now. You want to build something like this. I highly recommend you make your own design that fits to your own playstyle, by the way. Because that's what this game is all about. If you're just copying me, that's going to ruin the game experience for you. Enjoy it. Shit. <laughs> okay, now with this hovercraft, mine's heavy armored one, so I already said that. So you can always make a light one that's very tiny, but I prefer to make mine heavily armored. So let me do something different. Nah, I shouldn't do that. Okay. Okay, so you just buy those. And make whatever design you want. All you need to do is to make it stable and decide what kind of gun you want. And that's what you're supposed to do in this game. Just do that. This game's really fun, by the way. It's free to play on Steam. Yeah, I played it... When it wasn't on Steam, still pretty fun back then. But in the new releases, they added railguns and arrow foils, so that's awesome. So now the three different types of guns. Railguns are basically the snipers of this game. So yeah. And this, the hall part of this tutorial is almost done. You just want to make everything rounded. You don't have to, but it's just strengthens the connection of everything. The reason I put the pilot seat so far back is so that people wouldn't just one-shot you right away. So, what the trick I came up with is that if you put the windshields in the front, people will think that your pilot seat is right there when it's right there. So, so they'll sh aiming for there, so that's why you don't put any guns there. And boom, bada-bing. No one will shoot. Well, people will shoot there, but no one will shoot at your pilot seat, so you can't die and your guns won't get damaged. Only the center part of your ship. So yeah, in this game, it's also important to have really strong connections on everything. So if you don't, one hit could rip your robot apart, and man, you're gonna get fucked up. Okay. You want to put your helium tanks up high, cause laws of physics. The lighter it is up top, 
the less likely it is gonna it is gonna flip and the heavier down below at the bottom the less at least likely it's gonna flip again so yeah it's gonna make it even more stable so that's awesome thank you basic game physics like it's not that basic anymore and what is that camera glitching? And you want to make it go down, 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 down. Make it lower is very important. Okay, so one, two, three, four. You want to fill that in so you have extra armor, trust me, it is going to be very, very, very handy. Now, you want to do this. And we'll round the top off like that. You don't necessarily have to, I just make it look nice. Because I probably have OCD. Now, let's do this. I'll fix it later. This is just a basic tutorial. It, it's extremely important to armor the front because if you're using any close range weapon of any kind, you're gonna get blown up if you're not armored in the front. You can either arm it with an excess of blocks or an excess of higher tier armor. So, yeah, there's just a few tips for you. Oops, what am I doing? I'm gonna move by a little more. So, this is in total, it's gonna cost a lot. Well, a lot early game, but not far into the game. So, this hall design is almost done. Now, all we're gonna do is the hover wing part. Okay, so now you want to put that right there. Why am I lagging? One second. Okay. Tick tock. What are you doing, game? Game. Okay, apparently the game crashed on me. But don't worry, it's still a good game. So basically, you want to place the hover things where the weight is going to be distributed. So, yeah. Okay, so you should be able to find out where the center of mass is. So, so, so the watt blocks are the same, you should know where everything is. So now let's test it and see if it flies straight. It should. You want to make it stable because that's one of the most important features in it. Because what if you're just blown up looking around? Um, yeah, it would just suck, man. So as you can see, very, very stable. Could use more helium tanks, but I don't think I'll do that. Fraps does not like this game, people. Do not record this game with Fraps. Okay. Testing it. Okay, that seems pretty stable. So just keep testing it until it flies perfectly like that, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna change the design a little since we know exactly where everything should and should be placed. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. You wanna make this two out? If you're completely copying it in my design, anyways. And do that. Okay. Now, for basic purposes, let's do this. Looks ugly, but whatever. 
I need more! <laughs> Good thing they're free. Okay, now, let's go back to it. So, like that. So, we'll just start from the other side. Bam, bam. You always want to make it look nice, because that also strengthens the connections. Remember that, people. Robocraft? I mean, fraps? Robocraft? They hate each other, man. I swear. Okay. Let's just do this. It makes it slightly more armored, and... So, that's very handy. You want to make it armored if you can. I need to buy two more. This is gonna be a long ass video. Okay, I've been recording for God knows who, how long now. Almost done. And we're done the wing putt. Almost. I wanted to get like nicer. But really, this is all you really need. You don't even need six of those. I'm just using these as gun mounts. to mount guns. Okay, now we're pretty much finished. It should fly relatively stable. Now time to add the guns. You can add whatever you want. You can add SM laser SMGs, plasma launchers. I like to stick with plasma launchers, so to keep this tier one, I'm gonna buy one, two, three, four basic plasma launchers. So you just wanna make your hovercraft progress slightly bigger as it goes on because guns will get bigger. Everything in the game gets bigger. Okay. Actually, there, there. You want to put them closer to the center so they can aim better together. So yeah, this is the hovercraft. It's done. Looks pretty awesome. And let's see how much it costs. Let's. It cost. Eleven hundred and thirty-four RP Robo Points. So, that's a relatively cheap early game for a thing like this, and it doesn't even use any armor. And so, let's see how it performs uh, against actual people. I'll get back when we're in. Oh, never mind, we are. Okay, we're up against only tier ones. I should last pretty well, but I recommend when you get a high tier, putting armor in the front. It is very, very, very helpful. Okay, so this is uh, what I said already. Basic tier. Fraps, why do you hate me? Please. Okay. I can't even pilot this, apparently. I, I can't even do it. Why, game? Okay. 
I forgot to add the rockets too. Just, just add them wherever you want. It doesn't matter. And I apparently can't run this game with fraps. So yeah. Please. Okay, people. This is the end result. Sorry if it's a bit laggy. This game hates fraps. And also, I have an old video card. So. I like the plasma cannons because they have infinite range, but they have an arc. And they have splash damage. Lord boy, will they know I like splash damage. It doesn't do a lot of damage in early life. But it just got one shot, people. Relatively well. And I believe if I provoke the NPCs enough, they'll attack me. And yeah. Come on, stand still. And these guys have tier one armor too, so. How is he still flying so perfectly? Oh my gosh. Really, game? Really, fraps? Really? Well, anyways, this is the end result. Thanks for watching. Buy this game. Well, you can't buy it because it's free on Steam, or you can buy it directly from the website. And thanks for watching, and goodbye. Oh, and also, the controls. W forward, S backwards, D, I mean, D turn right, A turn left, and space to go up. Damn, those things can go pretty high. And shift to go down. But it also stabilizes us. And right click to aim. I recommend getting this game. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.